In his autobiography, The Greatest, a reference to his famous nickname, the boxer Muhammad Ali himself asks the question, who is the greatest? And then proceeds to proclaim, I am the greatest. While we all have an opinion, people debate the question of greatness. Some skip the debate and just claim the title, as did Ali. But what makes a person think he or she is so great? Is greatness the skills one develops or the gifts one is given? Does greatness reside in the decisions we make or how we conduct ourselves in adversity? Are we great because we make a lot of money in business or is it our desire to be charitable? Greatness can be defined in many ways, but only in the short term. As an argument arose among the disciples as to which one of them was the greatest, Jesus points to a child saying, whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. What? There goes our human notion of greatness now turned upside down. Jesus tells us greatness in the kingdom of heaven is not determined by size or strength or power or wealth or wisdom. Greatness is marked by humility and innocence. Really? Humility? Innocence? In today's world, humility is usually considered a weakness, not a strength. Let the other guy go first. Step back from an argument. Let the one who really does not deserve the credit have it. Be kind to others. Really? Humility? You may want to ask, hey, Dead Height, what parallel universe are you living in? Those who claim greatness perhaps believe they have been endowed and enabled with great talent or aptitude. Certainly, Ali was great during his boxing career. But like anyone else, the talent eroded as he aged and others began to lay claim to his title. It's the same in everyday life situation. Understand that none of us ever becomes anything. To become something means total completion in development, and none of us can ever ascend to that plateau. We are always in the state of becoming in whatever it is we aspire to. There will always be someone that will come along and do what it is we have done, perhaps differently, but as competent or even better. So the next time you see a small child, remember, if greatness can be found in the innocence of a small child, likewise, it can be found within you as well. And that choice, ultimately, is yours.